Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm a fourth year biosci major. Hi, my name is Mary. I am a new grad, so I just graduated uh, this past year, and I was a human biology major. Hi, I'm Josue. I'm a UC Irvine alumni. I studied biological science. Uh, and I also did research in Dr. Mota Bravo's lab. Hi, uh, my name is Stephanie. I am currently a pharmacy resident at Caloptima Health in Orange County, California. I graduated from UC Irvine in 2018, and then I graduated from USC School of Pharmacy last year in 2022. Asian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think a stereotype that comes to mind for bio majors is that they just lock themselves in their rooms all day and study, and they presumably want to make a lot of money, but maybe underestimate the amount of work that goes into professional schooling. Is that true? I think so, considering how many of them end up switching out of pre-med. That everyone is pre-med, and I think it's true, the first year. And then afterwards, I think uh, everyone just, you know, they find different things that you can do with a bio degree or switch out. Uh, but yeah, so that's one stereotype that I kind of would agree with, I guess. Yeah. I think being a bio major at UCI definitely has its challenges. I wouldn't say it's hard, but my second year definitely hit because um, it's when all the leader classes are kind of brought out, especially with organic chemistry. Being a bio major at UCI for me wasn't that hard. I think it was uh, pretty doable. Um, I think that's because I enjoy self-studying. I would say the first two years are rough. I think it, it's very true that it's hard, especially in the lower division classes that they often call the weeder classes. It's designed to be hard so that it weeds out the people who ultimately can't make it to the end, and only those who actually survive the undergraduate, the, um, the lower division classes actually end up making it to junior and senior year with the upper division classes. Dr. Kondondole. 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 Professor Kondondole was by far the hardest. I, for the first time, got a negative percent on a midterm of his. But it's okay, because I still ended up passing his class despite failing every single one of his exams. I think being his student has really taught me that I can't just get by with doing the bare minimum. Um, it's You constantly have to study, constantly have to keep up with your work, go to office hours, discussions, um, ask questions, not just absorb the material, but actually process it for yourself and try to regurgitate it um, in, the sense that, in a way that makes sense to you. I thought his class was super, super hard, but uh, I think he's a really, really good professor. Like he teaches really well and he's very sassy. So there'd be at times where like he'd say stuff and you'd be like, oh shoot, like did he, did he just say that? I think I'm probably one of the worst persons to ask how to not fail out of bio. It's mainly because I nearly failed every quarter of my second year, like getting by with C's and D's basically. Um, I think what kept me going was having um, peers that I could study with. Studying with other people. I had people who I was studying with. Uh, I think bio is really hard and there's a lot of material and a lot of people just think bio is memorization. Just you sit down and you memorize a textbook. But it's a lot easier to understand bio when you're teaching it to someone or you're talking through the concepts with someone because that way you actually understand it and you get to process it and metabolize it. Uh, how did I not fail out of bio? I have no idea. <laughs> um, you know, I coming into college, I thought being average or, or getting average on a midterm, which was like, you know, 60% or 70%, I thought that was really bad. But actually, that's actually really good. <laughs> uh, so if you're like if you're getting average on your midterms, you'll be fine. Like the curve will help you. Um, not only that, but I think what I've noticed from UCI students is actually people are willing to help each other. Um, so for example, if you're not really understanding something in class, like the professor will help you. If the professor's not available or whatever it might be, like your classmates will be more like like they'll be willing to help you out. You don't fail out of bio by relying on the curve and studying with other people. And I wanna say not taking yourself too seriously because I personally perform at my best when I'm not too stressed out and too anxious. So yeah, just 
have fun, don't focus solely on your grades. And I think as long as you're taking care of yourself mentally, then you'll perform at your best academically as well. So the research I did was analyzing the mitochondrial dynamics of cancer cells versus regular cells. And specifically, it was transfecting a healthy mitochondria into a cancer cell and seeing how that changes the dynamics. So I did a lot of analysis of like time-lapse videos of these mitochondria to see how their fusion and fission rates are. And for me, it was a little bit different. It was a little bit interesting because my lab manager was my friend from badminton club. So I didn't really have like a formal schedule for research. I didn't have um, a set time or a set project that I was working on. I basically went into the lab whenever he asked for help <laughs> or whenever he said, hey, can you help me do this transfection? I would go in and do it. Can you, can you, can you tell us what, what we're all waiting to hear? The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> nice. So how I got into research actually was through a sketchy email that I received from UCI. Um, so it was like in really weird fonts uh, and really weird colors and it was like bolded in certain sections. And so I got that email, it was like inviting me to an orientation or something uh, for research. And I saw it and I was like, what the, like, is this real, you know? And so I, I showed up to the orientation and so they started talking about uh, like the research that they were doing and basically um, talking about all the students who were able to go to grad school and all this type of stuff. And so I was like, oh, I think this is legit. I did end up uh, getting my feet wet in research um, because I thought I maybe was interested and I heard that actually research could look really good on a pharmacy school or medical school application. So I tried and my friend introduced me to a particular lab. It, it was with Dr. Jafari in the pharmaceutical sciences department. And the very first day I tried out for that lab, I ended up getting kicked out because I accidentally let loose a whole vial of fruit flies. No! Oh no. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> the Krebs cycle. Oh, see, this is why I said you should understand the material, because I memorized that and it's all gone now. <laughs> um, the Krebs cycle... I don't remember what it does, or what steps are in it. So, the citric acid cycle, or the Krebs cycle, that's all I know. Well, I'm, I'm questioning my knowledge as a bio major now. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this was so many years ago. So I think it, the end product is ATP and it's a bunch of random chemicals in your body that somehow generates ATP at the very end. I think something to do with acetyl-CoA. And that's about everything I know about the Krebs cycle. Okay, well, okay, so bio, if I'm being honest, you memorize, well, you have to memorize that quarter, and then afterwards you forget about it. That's how it, it kind of works. In practice, this is literally never used. So even if you learn it in bio, many years down the line, you're gonna forget all about it. I think for people who wanna be a bio major, it's a really vast field. I think bio is, it can range from, um, I was human biology, so it can range from like human biology and that's the study of diseases, human health and diagnosing, and it could go all the way to like ecology. Um, so plants and ecosystems, bacteria in the, in the soil. So uh, stick it out and you'll find something that you like. If you just really don't like bio, then switch majors fast, cause I kind of wish I switched majors. <laughs> yeah, being a bio major at UCI, uh, you learn a lot of stuff, uh, especially the third and fourth year, um, especially when you get into the specializations of what you want to do and stuff like that. So I would highly recommend doing it. Um, yeah, and what I've noticed is actually, um, like bio majors at UCI are not very, it's not very cutthroat where, um, you know, uh, if someone needs help, like, you, you will help them. Actually, most people will help each other out. And there's some sort of like unity I see at, would be between the bio majors at UCI, uh, where we're all kind of struggling together and trying to you know pass classes together. And so, yeah, I would highly recommend doing bio at UCI. Uh, I think college could be really lonely. 
everyone's kind of just doing their own thing. Um, and I think what makes college worth it is, yeah, those relationships and those, that community that you build throughout these four years. And that's what helps you get through the, you know, the difficult classes, the staying up all night, doing homework. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend finding a community. Find a community. Find your tribe and your community early on, as these are the people that you're going to be relying on for the next four years. I'm done college now, but college goes by so fast, and you never get to go back. Like, that's your four years to um, explore who you are and explore your academic pursuits, explore um, life, and that's a really big transition, and you're suddenly told you have to be an adult now. And that's really hard to do, because nobody really teaches you how to do that. It's just, you gotta figure it out on your own, but that's a lot easier when you have other people around you to do it with. So I ended up finding my tribe in my community my first year in college, thankfully, through A2F, a Christian fellowship, even though I wasn't Christian at all, and I had really no background in church or in Christianity, and yet I came encountered this group because I was invited out to an ice cream social. And through that very first event, I started investigating Christianity and I was welcomed with open arms by a group of, by a group of very warm and welcoming people who were Christian and they, they loved me as I am. And even though many of them didn't share the same major as me, they were still the people that I, I went to when I needed any sort of support and even needed a group of friends to study with or hang out with. They were the people that I would rely on to get through just the ups and downs and challenges of college. And I think ultimately I owe it to the people around me um, in A2F and in my church community to even graduate from both undergrad and pharmacy school. Okay, so for Chem, get a whiteboard uh, and do practice problems. Uh, for OCHEM, use your whiteboard. It'll help you out a lot drawing. So that'll help you out a lot. Yeah, that's basically it. That's what helps us do OCHEM. All right, thanks, Jose. <laughs> yeah. Bye.